cooking souls, cooking souls. Left my wallet inside of Bonita. I'll have to go back to get her. There it is. I was getting a drip coffee and I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Perfect, I see it. Uh, was that all you were getting today? Yes. Perfect. I might actually have to retire Casey Neistat's glasses early. Reason is, is because when I painted them, I just globbed them all over like he says you're supposed to because it gets that like really chunky look inside, which they look great. I love how they look. It, it definitely looks genuine aside from the fact that these are clearly cheapos, but they feel like crap. This is what right there and right there. Yeah. So that whole spot is really rough. Um, I think it actually like the chemicals ate the plastic from the paint because it was like globbed up and just sitting there. So I think what I'll need to do if I want to still wear these is um, sandpaper that because right now it's like rubbing right here. Otherwise these look awesome. Oh, I'm late. <laughs> it's okay. I can still get some flying, flying stuff. came here so I can get some drone footage for Alexis's t-shirt business, but I also need to do laundry. I'm down to one pair of socks. Figured I'd multitask. I left Falcon outside to get a cool time lapse of them working on the t-shirts and stuff while I went inside to do laundry. It had like 75% battery, so I figured we'd be fine. But naturally, he did what any drone would do. He's right there on the roof. They don't have a roof access for this building, so the uh, best I can do is drive Bonita around to the side and then see if I can crawl up high enough to grab him. Though. Moral of the story is don't take the drone off close to an area that I don't want it to land. I was able to fit all of my clothes. It's literally carry, it's literally a carry-on bag, so it's tiny. And after I didn't think all my clothes were gonna fit, but I organized it well enough, I literally fit all the clothes I need inside of it. I did have to leave one bag out. Uh, those are my socks, but that's okay because I usually leave those next to me in Bonita because if I didn't, every single morning when I wake up and I have to put socks on, I'd have to dig out my suitcase. hot outside today. Summer is rolling along. Alexis already left 
Uh, she finished up her work. I've just been hanging out doing laundry, but I have some stuff I need to do too. So right now I'm about to head down. We're gonna go to Ross. I need some flatter shoes. My knees have been hurting a lot. Super convenient for what I just did, jumping off of a building and all. And I think it's because I'm working out in running shoes and I need to be working out in something a little bit more flat. When I was going through my clothes, I found out I actually have a lot of clothes that don't fit me anymore. I say a lot. I already got rid of most of the clothes that don't fit me anymore. But I have two pairs of pants that are good pants and a shirt. It's a good shirt, but none of them fit me. Going to Ross. Ross. Okay, I got the shoes and I just came to pick up. I got the solar panel and I'm just like, my head is killing me. I don't know why, but I have like a terrible headache. There's the solar panel. a lot to catch you guys up on so yesterday I was filming you know doing the video and stuff I got the solar panel bolted onto the roof uh, I cut the video out after unboxing the video the reason why is because my head was about to explode I was dying I had a terrible migraine I felt nauseous I felt feverish it, it was just not good I ended up taking some medicine it didn't really help I started heading to New Mexico in the morning I, I still was a little groggy. I, I was up late reorganizing the Jeep. I couldn't fall asleep. I was too excited. I ended up eventually falling asleep. I actually woke up because a woman was banging on my Jeep seeing if anyone was inside. I guess she thought that Bonita was like the coolest Jeep ever. And she left me her number on a note because she wanted to um, see if I could help her build her Jeep or whatever. Um, so I might send her just a link to like my playlist on how I built the Jeep. But, but I still have a four hour drive to get to Albuquerque and I don't know if that's gonna, we'll see, we're gonna see. I almost drove right past the Cadillac Ranch. I was about to just beeline to Albuquerque and I was like, oops. Um, I got gas and I was like, oh, where, where's the farms? I knew they were right outside of Amarillo. And then they're over here. So I, I didn't miss them. They're, they're right over here. There's a little Easter egg for you guys. There's a T on it for Trevor because I didn't have enough spray paint to bother writing Life of Trevor and I'm also too lazy. But if anyone sees that, that was me. I did that. Before you guys leave this video, I just want to show you something real fast. Every single day, I wake up and do my best to try to create amazing content. And although I might not show it in the videos, it takes me roughly five hours to edit each one of those videos. And that's not even counting the time I spend filming. Now, like I said before, I try to make a video almost every single day. That means about 30 videos a month. After those videos go through AdSense and Google processing, I bring home roughly 
$100 a month. Now, if we divide $100 from 30 videos, that means I make roughly $3.34 per video. For over five hours of work, I only bring home about $3. That's it. Even on one of my most viewed videos, How I Live in a Jeep Wrangler, that video has over 4,000 views and I only brought home about $9 from that. This is the exact reason why I have Patreon. These last couple of days, I've been working hard doing DoorDash just to try to get the funds so I can get to Colorado so I can create more amazing content for you guys. The more time I spend working is less time I'm able to focus on creating these amazing videos for you guys. And making videos is my true passion. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you can be helping support my channel so that I can focus more on making videos and bring this amazing content for you guys. And if you can't support my channel, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, I do this because I enjoy doing it. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to all my amazing Patreons for making this video possible. Today.